crazy. Me being consistent? What is going on here? I'm liking this. What in tarnation is up to nation? How are we feeling? How was New Year's for you? Are you keeping up with your New Year's resolutions? Were they realistic enough? Are you still going to the gym? Are you still not texting your ex? Did you pick up vaping again? What What's going on over here? How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are well. I hope that you guys got your New Year's kiss. And if you didn't, that's all right. I didn't either. Actually, I did by my gay friend, Billy. It was cute. <laughs> I was literally at my friend's DJ set. I heard the countdown and I'm like, oh shit. Like I literally forgot it was New Year's Eve. I was like, oh yeah. And then everyone was like, five, fourth. And I was like, oh shit. And then it got to zero and I was looking around and everyone is just kissing. And I was like, okay, woo. I was like hugging myself. I was like, yes. And then my friend Billy came over and he was like, do you wanna? And I was like, sure. So I gave him a little peck. It was cute. It was just really sweet. We were the only ones that we were just like, yes. And then we just looked at each other and we were like, yeah, sure. I wanna know how you guys are feeling in this new year. I know everybody says new year, new me. And everybody should be just growing anyway. It doesn't matter when it is in the year. You should just constantly be trying to get better. But I don't know why, for some reason, this year, and I, I'm gonna be the next bitch that says this, but this year just feels different, you know? I don't know if it's because it's 2022, like triple twos, and that seems very... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, just like angelic, it just seems... What is the word that I'm looking for? Synchronized? aligned i don't know i feel like 2020 and 2021 were like the purging years where we really had to figure our shit out figure out what we need to be doing i feel like this year we're all gonna kind of collectively come into our own i don't know but i also said that last year so and look what happened last year last year was a mess i'm just trying to stay positive i feel a lot more focused and you know what's crazy? If you guys have been watching me for a long time, and if you guys watched my podcast, R.I.P., she was cute, you guys know that I have horrible sleep issues. I have terrible, terrible, terrible problems with my sleep schedule and oversleeping and then not getting enough sleep and like managing my time around sleep. It's always been an issue for me ever since I was little, but for some reason, y'all, I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what my spirit guides are doing up there, but every single night this year so far, I have been going to bed at around midnight or one and that's early for me, okay? That's, I usually stay up till like four or five. I've been going to bed around midnight. I would set my alarm for 10, but then I wake up naturally, you guys. Every single day this has been happening. I've been waking up naturally at 8.30 in the morning. What? Naturally, I just wake up and I feel good. I don't wake up and I'm just like, ugh. Why? I want to sleep more. I don't feel that way. What? I don't know what's happening. I just feel really aligned with myself right now. And I've been waking up on my own at 8.30. Just that alone gives me serotonin because I'm like, wow, I, what? Okay. I'll take it. Like, I'm like, I'm not used to this. You know when people are chasing that serotonin and they're chasing like new experiences and things that give them life and with fresh eyes, that's how it feels for me right now. Every single time I've been waking up on my own at 8.30, I feel like a little kid at Disneyland for the first time. I'm like, wow, this is, this is insane. I'm able to have like a slow morning and I kind of want to push myself to wake up even earlier and maybe even wake up with the sun. I don't know. So I'm trying to ride this high and keep this going so I don't fall back on my old patterns. But right now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really hopeful. I'm feeling inspired. I think this series really inspired me because I wasn't even gonna put these videos out. I thought that they were too boring and mundane. With that being said, this is the third video of my little Idle Wild series. If you guys haven't watched the first two videos, I'm gonna link them in the description. Make sure that you pause this video, open up a new tab, and watch both of those because if you don't, then you're not gonna really understand what's going on in this one. So so just do that, it's worth it. It makes me happy. It makes me feel like I wanna keep 
going. It's fulfilling me right now. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for just appreciating whatever I put out. It means a lot. But before we get into the video, we do have a sponsor today. So take it away, future Sarah. This video is sponsored by Thread Up. I don't thrift all of my clothes, but most of them. I'm trying to thrift more and more, and that's why I was so stoked that Thread Up hit me up and wanted to collaborate with me. Like, I just heard about them, and now that I am working with them, I'm obsessed. This has been my number one source where I get a lot of my clothes now just because I didn't know that this existed. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store. They've got so many different brands. They have pretty much every brand you can think of. They have like Juicy Couture. They have Brandy Melville. They have Nike. They have Adidas. They have Levi's. Free People. They've got Urban Outfitters. Literally just any brand you can think of, they have it. For up to 90% off the estimated retail price. You guys, bargains on bargains on bargains on bargains. Everything's on sale. It is such a blessing. I really love a bargain. I need to save my money. That is one of my New Year's resolutions. I went on ThreadUp and I picked out a few pieces just to show you guys how cute their stuff is. You guys kind of know my vibe, you kind of know my style. I love patterns, I love colors, but then I also love very earthy tones. And so I went on ThreadUp and I picked out some really cute stuff and I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm gonna do like a little try on thing. I'll like insert videos of me with the stuff on. Two videos ago, I wore this hoodie and you guys went buck wild in the comments. You guys needed to know where I got it. I also wore it in like an Instagram story and I went to my message requests. No one was responding to what I was saying in my Instagram story. All of the messages were just, where did you get that? Where did you get that shirt? Where'd you get that hoodie? What is that? Please send me the link. Um, so I got this on ThreadUp. It's so freaking cute. It has a hood in the back, little heart in the center. This brand is called Groovy Blueberry. I've never heard of it before. I just saw this on ThreadUp and it looked so cute and comfortable. And it is. This was originally $48 and I got this for $22. Okay, it is so cute. It's honestly one of my favorite shirts. So that's where I got this little thing from. You're welcome. And the next shirt that I got, I wore this in Vegas and I got so many compliments on this one. I just love brown clothes. I don't know why. I got this really cute cropped long sleeve leopard cheetah. It's some wild feline, but um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's leopard. God, I feel like such an idiot. I need to figure this out right now. God, yeah, it is leopard. <sighs> Whatever, okay? When do I ever see wild cats? I never do. And they look very similar, so give me a break. This brand is called Audria. You guys are going to scream at the discount that I got this for. You're gonna scream. This was originally $119. I got this for $42.99. What? What? And it's so soft. If you could feel the material, it is so soft. It is so comfortable. One of my favorite dressier tops. I paired a lot of these outfits with these brown shorts just because, like I said, I'm loving the color brown these days. And these brown shorts just kind of went with every single look that I had. I'm a simple gal. This was a huge hit in Vegas. I just loved the colors of this one. This one just really caught my attention. I really like this one because I feel just like I'm on the bowling team, but in a cute way in a different country. I don't know what country. I love these colors. It's so loose. It's cropped. Sometimes I unbutton it all the way and just kind of wear it open. And this, oh my God, the material is so nice. This brand is Global Village, $27. And I got this on ThreadUp for $12.99. All right, I love this one. This one really caught my eye because I love this color. I love this color. I'm noticing as of late that I also really love yellow tones on me. I thought that this was adorable. Very simple, very comfortable. It's perfect length. I don't even have to cut it. I'm obsessed with this color. I'm loving browns and I'm loving mustards. I'm loving yellows. This is just like a classic mustard, not a honey mustard, not a spicy mustard. This is just giving classic mustard and I love it. This brand is by Oak and Fort. Not, I don't know, Oak plus Fort? This was originally $71, and I got this on ThreadUp for 
Come on now. Come on now. So this is one of my favorite pieces that I got. It is a gorgeous long skirt, okay? It is so pretty. It's so glittery. The colors of a sunset, it's very flowy. It's very comfortable. Um, I wear this one all the time and get so many compliments on it. This brand is called Soaked. This one was originally $27. I got it for $12.99 and it's so pretty. It's one of my favorite skirts ever. This is also another fire skirt. They have really good skirts on ThreadUp, honestly. Sorry, it's not ironed. I don't have an iron. I, don't, I thought I had one. I don't know where it is. Kind of wrinkly, but I love this. It's high-waisted. It has a beautiful, colorful pattern on the top. I just love this. I paired both that sunset long skirt and this skirt with the same crochet orange top. That one I did not get on ThreadUp. I can't even remember where I got that one. It was like some random hole in the wall shop in LA um, where they like hand make crochet tops like that. I can't remember what it's called. I wanted to style that top with both of these skirts because it works for both skirts, I think. I wear this one all of the time and I always get complimented on it. This brand is called Signature Studio and it was originally $27. I got it for $10.99. So there you go. Okay, so this piece, it's really, really hard for me to find bathing suit tops because I'm a bigger girl on top. Okay, and it's hard to find bathing suits that really fit me up there and Oh my god, y'all. This bathing suit, this is my new favorite bathing suit. This is the first time in a while that I looked at myself in a bathing suit top and I'm like, yes, this is, this is it. I look so good and these colors really complement my skin tone. It's like tie-dye, rainbow, but it's not too bright. It's not too in your face. The colors are pretty toned down, but it's still rainbow. I love these gold little, I don't even know what these are, but I think that these are so adorable. I think that you could also get away with wearing this as a top in the summertime, especially if you live near the beach. This brand is called Vix by Paula Hermani. I think I'm saying that right. This bathing suit top alone was originally $60, $60. And honestly, I get it. I got this on ThreadUp for $19.99. That's what I'm talking about. This one definitely had the best savings, in my opinion. $119 originally, down to $42.99. Like, that's actually insane to me. And then the other one that blows me away is just this bathing suit top. $60 down to $19.99 is just, ugh, so good. All of these are just such good items individually, but I also, this is one of my favorites and I think one of yours too, from what I can see. And you guys, hear me out. You can get an extra 30% off, an extra 30% off on your first order if you use my code. So use my code and it rhymes, so it'll help you remember, okay? Sarah B30, Sarah B30, Sarah B30. Sarah B30, we're fun and we're flirty, flirty. Hey, 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 use it. What they are doing for my wallet is a beautiful thing. What they're doing for my closet is a beautiful thing. What they're doing for my body is a beautiful thing. And what they're doing for the planet is a beautiful thing. So thank you so much, ThreadUp, for sponsoring this. And let's get into the video. Wow, Sarah, damn. Those are some really cute pieces. I'm gonna check ThreadUp out. I'm gonna check it out. So. Where did we leave off last time? Where did we leave off last time? Where did we leave off last time? Oh, I was leaving the second cabin. No, the third cabin. That was the third cabin. Oh my god. Okay. So, I'm leaving the third cabin. I get in the car, right? And you probably think that I'm going back to LA, don't you? You probably think that. Well, guess what? I don't, because something happened. Something happened where I couldn't leave yet. So what you're about to see right now, I'm about to have a mental breakdown, okay? You're about to see a mental breakdown. I was in a, I was in a very manic state. I'm just warning you now. <laughs> this next footage is not pretty in any sense. I wanted to include it. So enjoy this little mental breakdown. <laughs> Let's get on into the video. Enjoy. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm 
I'm so tired. And I'm like hungover kind of. I'm sitting at this cafe, but I'm too tired to like get out of my car and go in. Like I'm too tired to get out of my car and eat. I got three hours of sleep last night and I don't know why I got so hammered. Like what? Katie FaceTimed me and we just got hammered over FaceTime and I stayed up till 7.30 in the morning. Like I'm glad that I listened to the Silk Sonic album cause like wow. But why did I do it at that time? I was gonna pull an all nighter cause I was scared that I wasn't gonna wake up and that the Airbnb owner was gonna get mad at me and I didn't want him to because he was so cool. But I was so tired. So I was like, okay, I'll sleep for a few hours. So checkout was at 11. You remember that old vintage phone over the bed? It just started ringing hella loud. Thank God. That shit, that's so smart. It's kind of like an alarm clock. When the owners really need you to get the fuck out, they ring that bell. Cause that really got me up. I like sprung out of bed. I was like, oh shit. I look at my phone and it's 11.10 and I'm like, Oh my God, I was supposed to check out 10 minutes ago and I had so much shit. I don't know why I brought so much shit inside. I did have a good time though. I did laundry, thank God, because I had no underwear left. I texted the owner, I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I woke up super late. I'll be out of here in about 20 minutes. And he was like, okay, cool. I was so disoriented. I don't even know how I did that. Like I'm sitting here and I'm still disoriented and I don't know how I managed to pack up all my stuff, clean up and put all my shit in the car and get here. I'm really impressed with myself. And I did it so quick, y'all. I really did get out of there in like 20 minutes, but I texted him and I looked at my phone. And I was like, hey, I'm heading out now. Thanks again. And it was 20 minutes later. I was like, wow. That was super accurate, Sarah. And it's like, I'm at this cafe. I'm feeling so haggard. My face is so dry. I feel so haggard. I'm too tired to change my shirt. So I think I'm just gonna go in like this. I don't care, man. It's a cool shirt, okay? I'm just glad that I got some hours of sleep. And now, <laughs> I don't, like, I don't have anywhere to stay tonight here. Do I just go back to LA? I don't want to. It's Saturday. I feel like tonight is when it gets super lit, you know? But also, I don't have anywhere to fucking stay tonight. <laughs> what am I doing? I was supposed to leave on Thursday. It's Saturday. I'm gonna go in this cafe and upload my YouTube video. And then afterwards, I think I'm gonna go on a little hike. Not like a hike, but there's like this trail. I just got, you know, the app, The Pattern. It's the astrology app. And they send you like little notifications every day. And I just got one and it was like, are you feeling sensitive today? <laughs> no, I'm like, am I? I'm too tired to like feel anything but tired. I can't believe I'm seeing Harry next week. That's so weird. The hot tub was so nice, by the way. Oh my God, I was so happy to be in that hot tub. I haven't been in a proper hot tub in so long. Oh my God, it was so nice. I wish I could stay at that cabin for one more night, damn it. And the owner even told me to like, check out the creek in the morning. It's really beautiful and I didn't even get a chance to see it. Ah, I need to stretch. Mm. Why did I get so hammered? Like last night, I was planning on having just a very chill self-care night. <laughs> all of that just goes out the window. And I'm not like upset at all. I had a great time, but I'm just like feeling it right now. It was just so funny because I was in the hot tub, vibing out, getting all my feelings out in my journal, sipping on an IPA. <laughs> Ew, I don't know why I was drinking an IPA. That has so much gluten in it, right? That's like the opposite of what I need to be drinking. And Katie just kept FaceTiming me and I wasn't answering at first cause I was like, bruh, I'm in a hot tub journaling, chill. And she just kept calling me a whore. She's like, answer whore, pick up the phone whore. Hey, you're a little slut, answer whore bag. She called me a whore ass. As I'm like trying to, <laughs> as I'm trying to love myself <laughs> in this hot tub. 
<laughs> and I'm like crying in this hot tub journaling and like trying to vibe and then I got Katie dinging at my phone calling me a whore ass and then I finally just gave in and I answered because I do want to talk to her all the time Ugh. I like vaguely remember me saying that I wanted to give Bruno Mars a piggyback ride last night I remember the album being so good, but I don't really remember any of the songs, but I just remember like loving all of them. So that it has to be good, you know? I can't wait to listen to it again, sober. I fucking love them, bro. I don't wanna go in. I like don't know if I can interact with human beings. I think that's why I'm lagging. And I have to like talk to the waitress, kind of. I ain't playing no games, every word that I say is coming straight from my heart. So if you try to lay in these arms, I'ma leave the door open. Okay, bye. So here's me eating my delicious caprese. Is that how you say it? Caprice. And I'm uploading my YouTube video. I'm really proud of myself in this moment because since it was a sponsored video, it was due that day and I had it done and all I had to do was do the thumbnail for it and then just click publish because it was already uploaded on my account. And then here's me trying not to have an anxiety attack in this restaurant because I realized something very frustrating. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about in these next clips. And also, is there a way I can take this? Perfect. Can I get this out of your way? Yes. Thank you. That guy just heard me do that. I don't care. Are they gone? Once I get on the highway out of this tiny restaurant parking lot, I'm screaming my head off. It's just so quiet. Okay, I'm on the highway now. You know what, I don't care. Okay, there's people around me so I can't yell anymore. I don't have the right version on my laptop. If I did, I would have just re-uploaded it at that cafe. But the only, ah! The only place I have it stored is on my iMac, which needs to be plugged into an outlet. And I'm not bringing my big ass iMac into a cafe. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that person. Ah! Where's this place? I was thinking that I would post the video while I'm eating my great lunch. It was an amazing lunch. And then I would have felt productive. That shit would have been on time. ExpressVPN wouldn't be annoyed. My team wouldn't be annoyed. And then I would have a relaxing hike right afterwards and not stress because it's Saturday. I made my thumbnail in the restaurant. I thought that shit was all ready to go, but then something inside of me was like, no, Sarah, let's run it back one last time just to make sure. Thank God I did that because I watched it in the cafe and it was, it didn't have the brand deal in it. And this is so like first world problems, but like I was so proud of myself for getting that shit done on time and it was ready to go. And then this happens. Ah! And then I was thinking 
after my trail around Idy Wild, Idle Wild, whatever. I don't even know how to say it. After my little walk around Idle Wild and enjoyed my Saturday afternoon, I would get in my car and I would drive back to LA tonight. So I don't have to spend any more money on a cabin. And I'm like, I think it's time for me to go. I think it's time for me to head on home. I had my fun, but I just don't want to schlep my shit into another cabin and spend more money. I'm tired of spending money, but no, I'm, I, ah, I didn't edit it on my MacBook, so I have to find an outlet to plug my big ass iMac into and re-upload it, which is gonna take hours. And so I had to spend money on a fucking bed and breakfast. And it was the only one available. It's the last fucking place in Idlewild available, thank God. You know, that is something that I am grateful for right now. Yes, I'm really fucking annoyed. But like, I'm so thankful that there was one place, one in there, there was one room available in the entire town for tonight. And I got it, thank God. So like, everything's fine. It's just annoying. Like, I'm super grateful that I could just do this. I really like this place. Oh my God, I'm here and there's no one here. Wait, yeah, there is. What the fuck? It looks like I'm, I'm at grandma's house. What is a bed and breakfast? What am I doing? And I feel like shit, bro. I'm like hungover. I'm so tired. I'm running on three hours of sleep. But I did it to myself. So it's like, I can't be that mad. Okay, I'm so sorry. No, I'm not sorry. This is real, this is raw. And I honestly feel a lot better now that I just yelled at you guys. I really, like, I really needed to just scream because I was getting so anxious in that cafe when I realized that it's not the right video. I was like about to have an anxiety attack. My team's hitting me up like, where's the video? ExpressVPN's like, where's the video? And I'm like, fuck! So I had to like text everyone. Oh my God. But okay. There's always a solution and I have a solution. Everything's gonna be great. Okay, I'm at this fucking bed and breakfast. <laughs> uh. And I'm gonna go check in now. And I had a very good, nutritious lunch. Great coffee, great service. Shout out Cafe Aroma or Aroma Cafe. Yeah, no, Cafe Aroma. That shit slaps. My server was kind. The vibes were good. They allow dogs. So there were dogs everywhere. Great times. But I still can be annoyed too. <sighs> you know, like when you're really fucking mad and annoyed, but you can't express it. So it's just like anxiety and like pressure in your body. That felt so good to scream and yell because now I don't feel that anger anymore. That's great, That that's amazing. Who knew that like actually screaming and letting out your aggression works? <sighs> I'm coming back down to earth. 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 I'm grounded, I'm here, I'm present. Thank you God for another day. Thank you God for my life. Thank you God for ExpressVPN. <laughs> Thank you, God, for this bed and breakfast. Thank you, God, for this little town. Thank you, God, for this vacation. Thank you, God, for this getaway. Thank you, God, for my health. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for my love. Thank you, God, for my joy. Thank you, God. I'm grateful. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna go check in now. <laughs>
Spanish song. I have a mental breakdown. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Strawberry speaking. This is John. How can I help you? Hi, Ty. Oh no. Yeah, if you could overnight it, because we we don't we don't have another key. No problem. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. So you do have a room available oh, though. Yeah. Okay, I great. Have a room available. I love the tiny little chairs on the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's adorable. And we're ready for the credit card. Perfect. I don't need to see glasses. So you just up for the day, or? Um, no, I've been here actually for a week. I've just been um, doing different cabins. I got in a little pickle. I was supposed to drive back to LA today, but then I had a little issue. I had to find something last minute, so I'm really happy that you guys... Yeah, typically we're a two-day only uh, place. Oh, really? You know, it's a minimum two-day reservation. Okay, there you go. Awesome. Oh, you're all pro. Look at you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no, yeah, I looked on um, Expedia and it said that you guys were the only room available tonight, like in all of Pine Cove. Oh, and I was like, God. oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. Here's your key. You're in Nancy's room. Yay. Is right up the stairs there. Oh, perfect. Cool. Perfect. So you're all set. That awesome. key opens up the side door over here. Okay. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi and password. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna take a picture of that. What is up, 
party people it's sunday and i feel so much better today than i did yesterday y'all saw me have a legit mental breakdown but you know what like i said we're keeping it raw we're keeping it real i have my days too it's not just puppies and rainbows for me last night was really good um i didn't in 800 feet the destination is on your left mile high cafe sorry about that oh shit it's popping fuck and think about that it's sunday okay okay i'm just gonna make this short and sweet basically i didn't go out last night even though i said i wanted to i think i think that i wanted to i felt this pressure too because it was saturday night my last night here i didn't hit up that old lady i was thinking about hitting up that old lady but i was supposed to hit her up after my trail because she was the one that told me to go on the trail and she was like you need to send me a picture of the tree and i'm like okay and so because i wasn't able to go on that trail and send her that picture of the tree i felt like we just didn't establish a hangout connection or maybe i'm just tripping i definitely could have texted her and been like hey what's the vibe without sending her the tree but she really made it clear that she wanted me to send her a picture of the tree so I'm going to the trail today after I eat and I'm gonna send her the picture of the freaking tree but I'm excited to see the freaking tree so we all win I was just really stressed yesterday about the video and then once that was uploaded I just spent a few hours just going through comments and reading them and it was cute it felt good I felt a lot better I felt productive no one was mad at me really spent last night and just chilled i did order food at the pub that's where i think that old lady was gonna take me anyway it's like the only place that was open so i'm assuming it was that place but i ordered food there and i just went there and i picked it up came back ate my food went to bed and then i woke up this morning in such a better mood oh my god and it's like a bittersweet mood i got up early and i really wanted to conquer the day it's only 11 so i made it out of the house by noon i'm gonna get some brunch and then i'm gonna go on that freaking trail and i'm really excited and i'm just gonna have a great last day i'm not gonna set like a time limit i'm gonna really enjoy the day while the sun is out i'll go home when i want but it has to be tonight at some point because I've reached my limit. I've overstayed my welcome. Oh yeah, I almost broke my ankle coming down the stairs today at this bed and breakfast because I have a lot of pride and I think that I can always do one trip whenever I go to the car, take all my shit. I don't wanna make two trips. I'm not a two trip bitch. So I had all my bags and I was going down these really narrow stairs and I miss a step, the very last step too. Like I was really killing it. And then that last step, my ankle twisted. Ugh, and it hurt so bad. I, I thought for sure that I sprained it or something. Like my ankle twisted all the way around. Luckily that guy wasn't in the lobby. There was no one in the lobby. I didn't scream, but I was like, ah! And I was kind of like hobbling out. I was like, did I just sprain my ankle? The throbbing went down, so I think I'm fine. It hurts still though. That's a little concerning. I'll keep you updated on that. So that just happened. Now I'm at this cafe and it's Sunday. I forgot it's Sunday. Sunday brunch. There's so many people in line. I guess this is like the best breakfast spot. That's what TripAdvisor told me at least. And I can see that. But hopefully since I'm only one person, I could, I'll, I'm down to like sit at the bar, I don't care. I'm just so hungry. I'm not really feeling my hair today, but whatever. I'm cute, so it doesn't matter. But it's just feeling very dry and I didn't have time to style it. Maybe I'll put it in a bun, I don't, I don't care. Okay, see you guys inside. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed part three of the Idlewild series. There's gonna be one final part coming in a few days, so get ready for that. Hello, popping in here. But I just wanted to say that this last Idlewild video is me attempting hiking. 
and it is the most absurd sad <laughs> video you'll probably ever see this footage oh my oh my god i just this video is just going to be tragic but it's really funny that's why i'm posting it just because like i really got myself into some shit just while hiking so that's gonna be up later this week and get ready for that it's it's just the final it's the finale okay this video is the finale and it'll be worth a watch so get ready for that and i also wanted to remind you guys that if you go to thread up and you buy some cute stuff over there if you use my code sarah b30 you can get 30 percent off of your first order so please use my code get some really cute things and have an amazing week i love you guys